Okay, so first step is to upload the image into FSPY. I have saved it over here. It's this one. Move it into FSPY and it will open. Basically, we're gonna track the X and Y axis or X and Z axis. It depends on which is easier. Add two vanish points. Okay, vanish points are these points over here. Okay, now I would like to add an X vanish point and a Z vanish point. So let's look for the Z vanish point. So basically these are lines that will define our X axis and Z axis in the image. So we can move it into uh, Blender. So basically I can hold this point over here. Okay, this is our first vanish point. And then I'll move it to uh, something that is relevant to an x-axis. Now what I'm doing here is I'm pressing shift to see precisely where can I place it. So this is good over here. Now, the x-axis line can be, obviously it should be straight horizontal. So our horizontal in the image is this one. So now I have one of our vanish, vanish point done. So obviously in this program you have to you have to work on two lines to make sure things are going well in blend. So basically you'll get the other X, which is red X point, And then let's track or let's keep it over here and we will get the other one and we will keep it over here. Okay. So let's see, I can just, Double check if this is okay. Make sure they're both on the same line. And this one is on the same line. Okay. Now, let's do the Z axis. Okay. So I would like my Z axis to be something that is over here. Okay. And the Z axis is the axis that goes up in most of the 3D software. So this is here. And finally, let's do this one okay and hopefully it will work maybe if we do some tweaking okay so yeah it, has, it shouldn't be the same so now we have the z axis like what i mean by it shouldn't be the same like this z one z number two over here should not be exactly the same as this or close to it. So basically now we have our Z axis and our, and our X axis. Okay, we don't need to play with any other points except for this. Now we have to do something to make sure that everything is going good. Like for example, this is our origin. If you can see it over here, if we press on the shift, you can also make sure that the line are, the lines are averagely working together. Like for example here, looks good. Any other reference, like this is Z, anything over here that is going up, okay, if you can see it, and anything that's going on the x-axis. Now we're mostly, um, the most important thing is to work on the frame, which we will be animating or working on, okay? So let's say I want the origin to be somewhere over here on this line. Okay, now that's basically it. What should I do next? I should save the folder. Okay, control S in any folder that I'm working with. Let's say I'm working over here. I will name it by frame track. Now, to enter it into Blender. Don't close the program, just go directly into Blender, okay? You need an add-on. Put a link to the, the to the add-on in the description. Okay, this add-on is very easy to get. It's also free. Uh, maybe I can make a video for up downloading it uh, and how to set that up. But this is not the purpose of our video. So basically, I want to import it. Okay, so I'll go to files. Now, when you add the add-on, you will have in the import fspy or .fspy folder and then you will go to Dubai tracking click on it let's go back let's go out actually and I want to remove the cube I don't need it 
this is how it is this is how we have imported it into blender now what is the difference what did we do is that if you look at the y-axis over here okay now our y-axis is this way okay and our x-axis is this way based on the frame or based on the lining that we did now let me show you how it works or maybe if i showed you a practical example it would make sense more so if i click on shift a and remember where's the origin that we kept over here so if i press on shift a and cube okay this is a little bit too big okay now if i move down and i move it on the x-axis this is my x-axis okay and if i move it on the z-axis this will be gz this will be my z axis okay that's what we have done in the f spy program okay so i can delete it i can add whatever i want and that's it for today's tutorial i will add the link to the second part somewhere in the video so that you can go and start modeling thank you and have a great day